In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interactive quiz directly in your Zoom meeting. Let's get started. In my previous video, I've explained about the advanced poll features of Zoom. If you haven't checked out that video, please do so. The link is in the video description. What's the difference between a poll and a quiz? Well, a poll doesn't have any right answer while a quiz does. In Zoom, if you want to set up a quiz, sign into your account. To create interactive quizzes for your Zoom meeting, schedule a new meeting by clicking on Schedule a Meeting button. Or you can open an existing meeting to define your quizzes for that meeting. Let's schedule a new meeting, give the details of your meeting, and click on the Save button. Scroll down till you find this option polls and quizzes and click on the create button. You should have two options, polls and advanced polls and quizzing. If you don't, please refer to my previous video which explains about advanced polls. Click on advanced polls and quizzing. Zoom alerts you that you can define this either as a poll or a quiz. When you're creating an advanced poll, there are eight type of questions that you can pose to the participants. Even though Zoom allows you to choose all eight types of questions for quizzes, in my opinion, when it comes to a quiz, you should stick to the single choice, the multiple choice, matching, and fill in the blanks. The rest are not really suitable for a quiz. Let's create a very simple geography related quiz. Give a title to your quiz. Let's check how good is your geography. Start with a very simple question. What is the capital of United States? Let's give four choices. So these are the four choices I have entered. Only one of them is correct, but we'll get back to that a little later on. Make it a mandatory question by clicking on the required option. Zoom allows us to add images to our questions. Click on the three dots and click upload image. And let's upload an image of United States. Navigate to the folder that has the image, click on it, click open, and that's our first question of the quiz. Let's add another question, but this time we will choose multiple choice. In this question, more than one answer can be correct. Let's choose a suitable question. Let's say we want to find out if the participants know which countries belong to the EU. As in the first question, we can make this a mandatory question by clicking on the required option. Click on the three dots to add an image. And a second question is done. Let's add the third type of question, which is called the matching type of question. Click on add question and choose matching. A matching quiz allows you to set the questions on the left hand side and the possible answers on the right hand side. Let us choose a suitable question for this type of quiz. For example, where will you find these mountains? I will list some famous mountains. On the right hand side, I will list the country names. You are allowed to add one additional answer compared to the number of questions. In this case, there are four questions. I can give five possible answers. One of them obviously will be wrong. And a third question is done. I've added an image to the question. And also let me make this a mandatory question by clicking on the required option. Let's add the final type of question, which is the fill in the blanks. Click on add question and from the drop down, scroll down till you find fill in the blank. Let me phrase a suitable question for this. The largest planet in the solar system is fill in the blank. We can add multiple fill in the blanks to the same question. But in this case, we will keep it to one answer only. Make it a mandatory question by clicking required and add an image. We can add as many number of questions to the quiz by choosing from this four types of questions. The single choice, multiple choice, matching and fill in the blanks. Once all the questions are created, it's time to convert this into a quiz. Go to the bottom, click on these three dots and choose this option make a quiz and set the correct answers. To set the correct answer, go to each question, click on the question and use this option called set answer. For our first question, 
our correct answer is Washington DC. For our second question, we have two correct choices. For the third question, we can set the appropriate answers. And for a final question, click on set answer and type the answer, which is in this case, Jupiter. When all the answers are set, click on the save button and your quiz is ready. Let me start this meeting to show you how a quiz works in an actual Zoom meeting. When you are in a Zoom meeting and you want to launch the quiz, click on the polls button. Since we had only one quiz, it appears on the screen. I can click on the launch button to start the quiz. A quiz has several additional options. Click on the three dots. You can choose to show one question at a time. Let's do that. Also, you can display the questions in random order. Let's click on that also. I will click the launch button to launch the quiz. The first thing you will notice is that the questions appear in random order. This was not the first question in our actual quiz. Let me choose the answers. When I click the next button, I get the next question. Capital of United States. Let me choose Washington DC. Next. The largest planet on the solar system. Let me type Jupiter. Next. Where will you find the mountains? Let's choose some answers. Because it's a quiz, I can go to the previous question just to make sure everything is okay. Go previous. And let's say I realize United Kingdom is not part of EU anymore. I can remove it. Go to the next question. And once I have reviewed all the questions to the quiz and made sure everything is okay, then I will hit the submit button. If I am the host, I can check how many people have submitted the quiz. For example, as of now, nobody has submitted. Now I can see one person has submitted the quiz. I can check the answers. And when I want to end the poll, all I have to do is click end poll. Once the poll is completed, you get additional options when you click on the three dots. For example, you can view the results in a browser. You can download the results or you can relaunch the quiz. And that was a quick look at the new quiz option in Zoom. Give it a try in your next Zoom meeting and I'm sure you will keep your audience engaged.